Greetings, sharks, and happy solemnity of all saints. This feast day reminds us that we are called to holiness. This call invites our response, our yes, as individuals and as a community accompanying one another, the young and others. I want to share a message from Sister Yvonne, the Superior General of the Salesian Sisters Institute in Rome. She says, I wish you a luminous solemnity of all saints, that this year we live in communion with the Universal Church in a different way, but one that is no less intense and authentic. The month of November speaks to us of holiness, of eternity, and reminds us of the value of the essential that we embrace in solidarity with our sisters and brothers in situations of suffering and of special need. May God bless you and Mary, Mother of Gratitude, bring you my thank you for all you do with and for the young. Thank you, Sister Yvonne, for that inspiring message. Sadly, Sharks, today we also launched into Daylight Savings Time. Many of you enjoyed getting the extra hour of sleep back, but for me, it is a bummer because by midwinter, we will be going to school in the dark and returning home in the dark as the sunlight gets shorter. I thought we voted this away in California, but obviously this is not a priority right now for our government with everything else going on. Before launching into this week's schedule, I wanted to thank Mr. Castaneda, the ASB Executive Board, and all student leaders for a great spirit week. All had fun with dress up theme days, the outdoor class competition with dodgeball, and a special shout out and congratulations to the seniors for your victory, as well as a spirited outdoor rally. This week, Sharks, we return to normalcy with regular school uniforms or shark wear. All clothing, including outerwear, must be St. Francis approved. We just got part of our new logo wear from Nike this last week, so I hope to inventory and price the items this upcoming week so we can make them available for sale during the day. Sharks, we're talking about new shorts, sweatshirts, jackets, pullovers, hats, you name it. When we're able to start selling, we will give you advance notice on how to pay for them. And now for this week's schedule. Monday, November 2nd, we have tutorial at 8 a.m. and periods 1 through 4. You are also welcome to join us for a Dia de los Muertos prayer service at the beginning of lunch in the gym. We will be remembering our loved ones that have passed on and lifting their souls up in prayer. Mrs. Lemus and I look forward to seeing you at this event. Tuesday, November 3rd, tutorial 8 a.m. in periods 5 through 7. We will have academic department meetings after school. Students waiting for their van ride or students waiting for after school sports can wait in the gym with Nettie. Thank you, Nettie, for helping support our students. Wednesday, November 4th is our senior one day retreat, senior ASB lunch, and senior ID and yearbook photos. For all other students, you will have access to tutoring help through academic department hours as usual on Wednesday. Wednesday, we will also have our school leadership team meeting at 1.45 p.m. and a vision steering committee meeting at 4 p.m. Thursday, November 5th, tutorial 8 a.m. and periods 1 through 4. Friday, November 6th, tutorial at 8 a.m. and periods 5 through 7. There will be an early dismissal for students, so all van transportation will leave 30 minutes after students get out. Parents, please stay in contact with your student drivers to know when they will be returned to their drop-off points. And then Saturday, November 7th, we're excited to welcome back Parking Lot Bingo. Hopefully we'll see you there as a participant or as a volunteer to help us continue the great momentum we started this year. Students, faculty, and staff, per the recommendation by the students who were part of our reopening committee that met multiple times this summer, we are rotating break and lunch areas each month. Starting Monday, November 2nd, here are the new locations for break and lunch with all students. Seniors, you move to area four at the back of the school and the switchbacks that face the lake. You will use the E-Wing bathrooms next to the art room during break and lunch. Juniors, you move to area three next to the pool with the picnic benches and basketball courts. You will use the porta potties that are on that site. Freshmen, you move to area one on the green belt in front of the office. You will use the H-wing bathrooms. And sophomores, you move to the football field, area two, for your break and lunch. You will also use the H-wing bathrooms. Finally, under the current orange conditions for Santa Cruz County, we are full. We have had an outpouring of interest this last week from families requesting their students to return to live in-person learning. As a result, we have started a wait list with a date and timestamp for each inquiry. Again, at this time, I'm sorry to say we are full. But as guidelines continue to evolve, 
we will address each request based on where he or she is on the wait list. If you are interested in having your student return at some point to live in-person learning, please contact the front office and get your student's name on the wait list. As you can see, Sharks, it's a beautiful day. I'm wearing my St. Francis cycling jersey, so I'm getting ready to go for a great ride. Hopefully, it'll be safe. If you see either me or other riders on the road, please give them at least five feet and take care. I look forward to a great new week. God bless and go Sharks.